Welcome back to another week here at Basin Motorsports. So before I get into really anything of what I got done this week, let me explain the title of the video. Last weekend I went to a Cars and Coffee. Now I took the car down, obviously it's back in the garage, so no issues there. Drove great, fantastic, had a great time. I was sitting behind the car, had it parked, backed into a spot, and was sitting down on the curb, I was talking to some guy uh, there that had seen it on the internet. He was interested in kind of talking about the build and some other stuff. And a group of guys walked up. Now granted, I'm not very well known there, so anybody there probably doesn't realize the car is mine, nor do they realize most of them have never seen it in person. So a group of guys walked up, and here I am sipping my coffee, and one guy yells out, Oh my God, look at the front tires on that Mustang. That doesn't even make sense. It's like somebody's grandma got a boob job. I almost spilt coffee on myself, spit it out, because I was just like, what did he just say? So that's the story behind it. No idea, but it was a good time anyway. All right, so looking back at the garage, I said last week I was going to put some bumpers up. So I have bumpers hung on the ceiling. Now those are up and just some eyelets tied up and they are in good shape. So that's my 7982 bumper here. And then that's the Cobra R fascia there. Good use of real estate. Uh, Got to work, get my heater going probably this weekend, try and get that going. And that gave me all this floor space. Now, if I had smell vision you'd understand that these are all onions. These are out of the garden. I told my wife she could put these in here till I'm after SEMA, get back there. So... You can imagine my smell o vision here would be very, very oniony at this point. But that gives me a lot of free space done there. Now, this is a bunch of stuff I've had in storage. So, all of this is a notchback carpet. So, this is my original panel that uh, I probably will put on the notchback. I've got some more under here. This is my car cover. And then, all of this is uh, bottom pieces that I've held out of either uh, salvage cars that I found in the junkyard or stuff that I've got. So that is uh, some extra pieces. If you guys need any, let me know. I don't have extra sides. I have like somehow, I think it's passenger sides. I have three of and one of left. So I will use one of each of those out of this base. I'll keep that. And then uh, if you guys need something, you let me know. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, there's the dash. So. The toolbox here is almost clean. It's going to go out to the barn. All of this wood here is going to go out to the barn, and the rest of it is either going to be used, moved, or probably the magazines will just go uh, probably up towards the front of the shop. So concerning the wrap stuff, the car is running great. Uh, I still have the stutter. Now, I think I've figured that out, or at least I've got a plan for that. The tachometer has an issue at the same time it has stuttering issues, and I put it up on the forums that I hang out on a little bit. A lot of guys thought it was going to be the coil. So I am going to just put a cheap replacement coil on here. So I'll get one of those ordered. I've got an MSD on there now, but it is, it sat in my cabinet for two years. I don't know how long it ever been used. So I'm going to assume that maybe the coil is bad, spend a few bucks, get a replacement, try it out. And if I get to drive it before then and with a replacement coil, great. If not, it'll be something I'll worry about next year. Otherwise, the car runs good, runs fine. Uh, we'll cruise along, has no issue there. It's just the uh, that small window of acceleration. Not a big deal, enjoying the heck out of it. Now on the wrap stuff, I had mentioned last week that my mother-in-law was gonna do a wrap on her Chevy Avalanche. She has come down to the choice of the color and I've got that on order. So that'll be something I'll do after SEMA. Uh, one thing I'm gonna have to do is get uh, some dollies to put the wide fox up on the dollies, roll it up to the front, and then I'm going to get her truck brought in in its place. Uh, I will probably have the 86 moved in here by then too. So this is going to be a completely swamp shop, uh, but this is going to be hopefully the, the future. Having three cars in here, one build, one drive, and one customer car. So that'll be done, and then uh, we'll see what that brings, if that's... Uh, gonna bring any more wrap stuff she's gonna take it down to Arizona for the winter which is great but at the same time I won't be able to watch it for three or four months so she's gonna have to let me know does she keep it clean does she not and that kind of stuff so 
Got some more stuff coming on the wraps. Um, I'm gonna do some videos on microfiber towels, uh, how to care for wraps, and each brand's a little different. So I'm gonna put out a video on how to care for each brand's wraps and that kind of stuff. So if you guys have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll get them out as soon as I can on each of these prior to, uh, well, I don't know. I'll get them out, I promise that. All right, so one other thing I want to touch on this week since I don't have a lot other than I'm just getting cleaning is that it's about one week from SEMA. And a couple things on SEMA. I normally at home do not have the bandwidth or the Wi-Fi connection or anything else to uh, do anything live. So that's why all my stuff is spaced out. It's uh, never quick, I guess you'd say. You know, if I film on one day, it takes me basically overnight to upload something because I don't have a great connection where I live. I live that far out of town. So at SEMA in Vegas, should have a great connection. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I had thought about um, maybe doing like a quick live daily recap of what's gone on at each day of SEMA. So I'm gonna leave Sunday, uh, nothing Sunday night, it'll be in Reno basically. Monday I plan to get there, um, kind of figure out parking and all that kind of stuff for uh, SEMA starting Tuesday. So maybe Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night, I could do a live. Now again, I think, if I remember right, Vegas is on Pacific time, which I am on the West Coast. So you guys tell me if um, you would like to do that, if there's a great time for you, knowing that I would be on Pacific time. So like eight o'clock Vegas, I think is like, what? I don't know, 12, 11? Let me do my math. So it'd be like 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 Central, 9 Mountain, I believe, unless I've got my times on wrong, and then you guys figure it out. But if you guys are interested in something like that, um, I may do it anyway, just to kind of throw it up there and you guys can watch it whenever. Um, I'm not gonna have a computer, I'm not gonna have anything else. I'm gonna video as much as I can while I'm there and I'll probably put it up in the cloud and then grab it when I get back home because I don't wanna have to uh, take a computer risk theft or anything else. So. If you guys want that, let me know. I could probably just take uh, some minimum stuff here, use my phone really to shoot live video. That way it goes direct to YouTube and you guys decide what, uh, if you want it. And if not, cool. I may put it out anyway and you guys can just uh, enjoy it whenever you get to it. The second thing on SEMA, I think last week I really, I don't know, I guess I was frustrated a little bit when I was talking about revenue for the channel. And I had a little bit of perspective reset this week. So one of the things I wanted to do when I went down to SEMA was work on content. And that is a cat in the back, isn't it? Anyway, one of the things I wanted to do was work on content creation. I really had hoped, I've always hoped that YouTube would kind of be the thing that really kind of shot me forward and what I think is not going to happen is that is not going to be the tool that's going to get me there. It'll be part of it, but it's not going to be the thing. Why I say that is that this week I have been putting together a resume. And it's a content creator resume of all the brands I have worked with. Not necessarily a partnership, but like um, all the stuff I've touched, used over the time. How many videos they were uh, shown in, the products were shown in, how many views those have, etc. Put that together for Facebook, for Instagram, and YouTube. Now granted, I don't do a lot with Snapchat, I don't do a lot with Vero, and Twitter especially. So, the three big ones for me, I put together a resume of a lot of stuff. Now I also included in there what I can do to write. The thing, the thing that really um, got my attention, or kind of helped with the perspective reset, was that video is, is something I'm really passionate about. I love doing it. But I'll tell you, I have almost, I don't know how much more success, but I can tell you revenue-wise, I make five times more writing than I do with YouTube. So the new perspective for me is that the video is not going to be the thing. The video is the fun part. The writing is what's going to drive the business forward. So the new thing I'm going to do is when I talk to companies down at SEMA, I'm not going to approach them as, hey, let's partner together. I got some great stuff on YouTube, etc. The thing is going to be the sales pitch now is going to be what can we do together? What content can I create, whether it's video or written, maybe even audio, something like that, as a package 
and then we'll work on that piece. I already talked to one company this week. Sounds positive. They weren't ready to uh, jump forward. They had some other stuff they had to work on. But I'll tell you, they were like, wow, yeah, uh, we need to get stuff on our end, but that is a great idea. So you never know where that's going to lead. I think SEMA is going to be big for that. And I keep saying that, but I guess maybe fingers crossed, knock on wood. Um, it's not going to be just me walking around. Fil okay, it's probably going to be me walking around drooling and filming cars, but I'm truly going to try and treat it as a business, business venture to get down there and try to get some other stuff. So I think that's sweet. Let's see, wraps, garage cleanup, SEMA. Yep, that's it for this week. Three big things, another few days, and I will be road tripping. And uh, if you guys need anything, let me know. Otherwise, have a good week. Talk to you next weekend.